Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am so excited because I get to share with you a palette that one of my friends collaborated on. As you may know, Adept Cosmetics collaborated on a palette with Heather Austin. I have it here. I have not touched anything yet. I wanted to show my true reactions on camera first. So that is what we are going to do today. I'm going to leave a link down below to Heather's video. If you are interested in learning more about the palette and all of the info on it, it will be available on Friday, March 25th at 12 Mountain Standard Time. I'm really pumped, you guys, because I have always wanted to try Adept Cosmetics and tis the perfect time now that Heather has a palette. So if you want to see my thoughts on this, then just keep watching. I look a little odd right now. I only have foundation and my eyebrows done. I don't have any concealer or anything underneath so that I can create an eye look. It's because I'm not familiar with this formula. I don't know how much fallout we're gonna get. So this is going to be 56 US dollars. Like I said, on the 25th at 12 Mountain Standard Time. This palette features 12 shades in a mixture of matte, duochrome, and multi-chrome finishes. I knew Heather was gonna do a color story that's right up my alley because she tends to like this stuff of eyeshadows that I like so this is what the palette itself looks like oh well let me show you the packaging itself it reminds me a lot of the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette packaging every time I see Adept launch a new palette I always double take because I think it's Natasha Denona it's nice and slim it's gonna protect your eyeshadows and it says Heather Austin right here I'm sorry you guys I wish I could tell you where it's made from but I accidentally recycled the box that had all of the information on it I'm just trying to get all of the boxes for my PR and stuff out as soon as I open them so not to leave a mess and the information that I wanted was on there so sorry about that but here is what the eyeshadow palette looks like I'm really Really intrigued by this color story we have mixtures of purples and greens which you know is gonna be right up my alley look at this mustardy green tone here we have a pop of blue Heather loves to add in color and of course I cannot wait to dip my fingers into these duo and multi chrome shades also I was in the shower yesterday and I have gel polish on and it fell off my finger so sorry about that well not really I'm not sorry but I'm aware all right, let's get to swatching. Let's do the top shadows first. So we have video chat. Oh my gosh, this feels so creamy. First touch, first impression, really great. Passport, this looks like a multi-chrome and then so excited. Oh, these are just as beautiful as they look. I'm gonna zoom in so that you can see. Passport, oh, give it to me. Okay, okay. Passport's my new favorite eyeshadow. So those are the first three shades. They are extremely reflective. Really, really beautiful. I cannot stop staring at Passport. <laughs> okay, let's do 0603. Let's dip into our first matte shade, which is Magnolia, and then get into Mythology, which is a shade I know a lot of you guys are gonna love. You guys love mustardy shades. Ooh, the matte's swatching pretty nice. Oh, especially that mythology shade. Awesome. Okay, let's get to the bottom row here. I'm excited to see what this blue does for us. It's so pretty, look at that, okay. I know Heather's been working on this palette for a long time because she told me that she was coming out with a collaboration months ago. I think like last year, honestly. So this has been a long time in the making. I love the texture of these Adept shadows. I think I might need to start buying their launches. Oh my goodness. Hey y'all, Austin, and then Smith. Okay, their reflective shades are off the charts. Love that shade right here. Oh my gosh, did you see? Did you see how much that swatched? Wow. Okay, so here's the entire palette. If you wanna take a look at the swatches, I'm turning my hand so that you can see the shift and reflection. All of these are so stunning. I cannot wait to get these on my eyes. It's like 
I want to say I wish there were some more mattes because I love a palette that is equal in ratio for mattes to shimmers, but Adept's shimmers, from what I can see so far, are absolutely stunning that I can see why there are so many shimmers in here. You just want to make the most out of it. Okay, I'm going to go off camera, do an eye on one look, kind of collect my opinions, and I will be back to show you what we come up with. Okay guys, here's the look. I know it's a little across the board. I, as you can tell, tried to fit as many colors on my little eyelid as I could. <laughs> the look is super duper cool though, regardless. And I'm officially an adept fan. So let's get into it. The first shade that I'm gonna go into is Mythology. And this ended up being more yellow than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more green, but the Adept Matte formula is so interesting to me. There's so much depth you can build out of it, but you can also get a very, very sheer layer. If you blend the shade all over your crease, you get a light shade. And then if you go in and pat, all of a sudden it's like you have the same shade, but deeper. So this shade I'm just using right here, the inner half of my crease, nothing too crazy about it. I have, by the way, the Kaleidos Eye Primer on my eyelid. We're going into PAO2 right here. And okay, this shade is a little bit harder to blend, I'm not gonna lie. But it's amazing how freaking deep you can get it. And Heather loves deep shades. If you watch her video, she made sure that these mattes went super duper dark. The girl likes dramatic eyeshadow. This is the shade that I realized like, yeah, you can really get like a light wash, especially if you're more on the fair side, but then you can build this up to have a crazy, crazy depth. So I'm laying the color down and I imagine this color can be a little bit difficult to blend because typically with these types of purpley shades, they're just a little bit harder to formulate, but it's not a bad experience It's just something that I noticed I did need to take a little bit of patience with because you can see how light we got that wash And I'm gonna go back in a multitude of times to really place Depth this is just the initial blend right here kind of get it in with that shade Like so and you can see I'm blending it out I'm gonna go back in and really focus that again in the outer corner and blend. I'm gonna take a clean brush and I'm softening the edges but leaving the depth where I laid it down. And we'll go back again because I am gonna build in another color in here. But yeah, it's amazing. It's like multiple shades within one palette. Next up, I'm gonna take some of Magnolia right here, which is this emerald green shade. Again, it's crazy the amount of depth that you can get with this. So I'm placing this, as you can see, right before the purple shade, and I'm applying it at somewhat of an angle. With these matte shades, I think it's in your best interest to pat it down first and then blend it. And again, this is one of those shades where uh, you can get it to be really super dark, but then you can also blend it out for something less dramatic. I'm trying not to go crazy with blending this, just because there is a purpley shade kind of next to it. So it can look muddy if you blend carelessly. I'm just gonna put it right here. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of mythology to keep the brightness of that yellow. But I want the green kind of out here on the lid. I want it to be visible because you can see it like popping through right here. Okay, I'm gonna place a little bit more of PaO2 again to make sure that the purple stays. Ready to move on to the shimmery shades, which is what I was most excited about. Passport right here does not really match the look, but I don't care. I just wanted to test it out, see how it looked. So I'm finding with these shimmery shades, you're just gonna get the most out of it if you use your finger. It's that kind of consistency, but how pretty is that? I just popped it in the inner corner, honestly. It <laughs> <laughs> there really was not too much purpose of this color other than I needed to see it and it does not disappoint. All right, let's move on to video chat right here. I wanted to pull in some warmer elements to go with the yellowy green. 
that we have. So I am going to place this in the remainder of my eyelid. And oh my gosh, this is like a multi-chrome. It has like yellow, green, orange to it. It is so fun. And again, I love the application of the Wow, the Adapt Formula, not playing. And then after that, because I needed to put as many of these colors as I could, I'm taking some of Smith. This one is like a really yellowy green, very reflective, and I'm popping it on the eyelid space where the green is. So you can still see the matte green peeking through, but I use that dark green as a base for this shade. And it looks incredible there, right? Okay, so I am going to reinforce the mattes, particularly the purple, just to work on blending that in with the lid shade, making sure the purple kind of bleeds through. And I know Heather said this could almost look red, depending on your skin tone and what colors you're pairing it with. But on me, with my look, I feel like it's a little bit more purple. And I'm taking a bit more of Magnolia, which is the dark green matte. And again, seeing if I can make sure that that holds its intensity. Fantastic. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer now just to clean up everything. I'm using the one size concealer. This is why I've been using my concealer after I do the eye look. So that way we can clean it up pretty easily. I've had enough with fallout ruining my looks and I like to have the clean canvas with foundation down first so I just don't put the concealer down. Okay, let me pop on a little bit of powder. I'm also using the one size translucent powder. Put that underneath the eyes. Let's continue my madness down below. <laughs> so I'm using PAO2 again and I'm just going to carry that to the outer third of my lower lash line. Then we're going into Magnolia there and for sake of trying more shades i'm gonna go into oh it's so excited but probably i would have gone a different direction if i wasn't trying to try as many shades as possible but i'm gonna use this on the inner corner of the lower lash line and this is a pretty universal shade i feel like it's very multi-chrome so it can pretty much go with any matte shade that you put underneath it but I probably would have carried this orange down here if I weren't testing. But this is also really pretty. It's very hard to pinpoint what color it is. I have no clue. <laughs> so I'm going to wipe off this brush and I'm going to finish off with Austin, which has a really strong purpley blue shift to it. And I'm just going to make this even more obnoxiously sparkly because why not? Okay, so here is the eyeshadow look. Yes, it's a barf of eyeshadow on my eyelids, but in the best way possible. Just wait to see it with liner and lashes and all that good stuff. So I will be back and you will see the final look. All right, you guys, here is the final look. Look. It's really really unique. I don't think I've ever done a look like this before. It's super grungy I really really love it overall. I mean, I am very much enjoying this palette Heather It is gorgeous and adept. I love your formula You guys know I'm all about the shimmery glimmers and glitters all over the eyelid So if you're a fan of that then I really do think you will like adept's formula if you're into indie brands or say a formula similar to Pat McGrath in terms of the Blitz Astro shades. I think you will really, really enjoy this formula. I had a lot of fun with this palette. In a way, it did take me outside of my comfort zone, but because of that, I was able to create such a unique, pretty look. And the mattes, I can't get over the mattes. <laughs> they go so, so deep. So if you have a deep complexion, you will certainly be able to make these mattes work for sure. So there you guys have it. That is all I have for today's video. A, a huge congratulations to Heather Austin on her first collab palette. You killed it. It is gorgeous. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you are planning to pick this palette up. I'm also going to leave Heather's channel down below so that you can subscribe and check out her videos. If you like to just chill and play with makeup, you will love Heather's channel. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.